Hello everyone, this is James Kwa. You may have seen the video before where I showed voice recognition for Ubuntu. Uh, what you may not have noticed is that it was just a demo. If you looked right here, there was uh, a little voice recognition thing that I clicked to use it, but that was actually a Chromium window which you could see if you look at the video right here. But it was to show you what a voice recognition app could do if it was integrated with Ubuntu. And I've made one now and I want to show you guys and soon it will be released to you guys so that everyone can use it and everyone can make their own apps for it. It'll be great. So before I ramble on, uh, let's show you what it can do. So like the other application, it could do this. Open Firefox. As you can see, what happens is I press a hotkey and what will show up is this nice little thing in Notify OSD which is actually like a little animation that I made to show that it's recording and then it'll send the command and run it. So here's another thing that I could show you. Open Documents. So in Documents you can see Music Stuff but Music Stuff should probably be in Music so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it to music or copy it. Copy this. Whoops. Copy this. All right. Open music. Paste. And boom. Now, copy and paste might not be useful to you since you could just, you know, quickly press the hotkeys, but it might be good for someone else who can't really remember how to do that. Um, so, let's see some other things. For instance, it can do questions. Who is the President of the United States? And custom questions too. Who is the creator of this program? And just to run through them all, how big is a megabyte? Uh, other things we can do, again, we could go to sites, go to crack.com, favorite from the old video. Mm. Wolfram, what is the derivative of x squared? That's a nice one for me since I'm in calculus right now and we can see it's 2x. Uh, what else can we do? All right, uh, this is a nice thing to do. Note to self, remember to pick up milk tomorrow. And that actually will get sent to my email, which you can see, go to gmail.com. So I'm at Gmail, I look at my note to self, Remember to pick up note tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> pick up milk tomorrow, and we can see because it sends you an audio file. Note to self: Remember to pick up milk tomorrow. So, just in case it can't transcribe it perfectly, it will also send you an audio file of your voice. This is of course inspired by the Android feature of the same name. All right. Uh, something else cool to show you is that it can do dictation. So let's open up get it for example. Type hello how are you? question mark. But of course saying type before everything is kind of bad. So we could also have modes in this program. Dictation mode. In this mode everything I say will automatically be dictated. So for example, hello everyone, I'm making this video for Ubuntu speech recognition. Ubuntu speech recognition. Ubuntu. <laughs> Ubuntu is usually a hard word to get for speech recognition programs, but it does get it sometimes based on context. All right. Uh, what else can we do? Well, you know what? We could really do anything. Uh, I made this program to be very extendable. So you could do whatever kind of things you want. You can make any kind of script and people can use it for anything. So 
uh, one more thing. Play American Pie. Whoops, I'm in dictation mode. Exit dictation mode. Play American Pie. There we go. So, I'm going to listen to the song, everyone. See you later. I can still